So then we twist out and we drop and we get that shape. And then we go guys, that is the Twisted Wolf Cut. The next big trend for 2023 when it comes to cutting the Wolf Cut, Butterfly Cut, we're literally gonna twist it and it gives you that automatic shape. Today we're gonna get straight into it. You're here because you wanna see the brand new Wolf Cut for 2023. Uh, and this is called the Twisted Wolf Cut. And it's basically down to fundamentals. So you've loved the ponytail haircuts in the past. I'm not gonna put it into ponytails, it's actually sectioned out. I, I washed it, I blow dried it smooth, so we're gonna be working on dry hair. But what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be using the fundamentals of just sort of like shifting hair and twisting the hair to allow the hair to be over-directed and elevated to keep length around the perimeter, but go shorter on the internals. And um, yeah, I was literally having some brunch earlier and I was thinking like, what can I do? Um, that's a little bit different, something which is still technically there, but no one's doing it right now to create this sort of look. So this is a wolf cut. Wolf cuts have been done to death, but I still think they've got a very much, um, they're very much a big trend still, still right now. And uh, like with the shags, the butterfly cuts and everything like that, I've got a butterfly haircut coming soon as well. That is the back cut butterfly. And it's just, again, a, way, a different way of cutting it because all these haircuts are haircuts which have been done over. The shag, the mullet, uh, wolf cuts, the butterfly cuts, long graduations, the Rachel, all that. They're all similar. The, the technicality of it all is all very, very similar. It's just a way of presenting it in a different way. And this way uh, should hopefully open up your mind to be like, oh my God. We've literally got to do that, do it, and you get a perfect shape of a haircut. You can do it wet, you can do it dry. The reason I'm doing it dry is because I want the hair just to fall instantly so you can see it, uh, like I do with the ponytail haircuts. And it's something you can do. You can definitely do this with wet hair. Probably not as big sections. You could section by section. Um, or you could do it in one. I'm not saying you can't. I'm doing it in one. So, yeah, this is the 2023 wolf cut trend, which is going to be the twisted wolf cut. So, sectioning pattern is from crown and it's a diagonal forward through there and it comes to just in front of that ear so it comes through there to the crown same on both sides through there and instead of a ponytail i've used clips because it's seen as, as more professional again through the back we've just got a central section all the way down isolated each side with clips now this is something you could do wet you could do dry I'll pop it up, up on here on the board so you can see. So say there's the crown. We're, we're going to come through there. And that is our front section there. And then all we're going to do is follow that section down to the back. So say the crown is, is there. It's literally a straight line down the back. Super simple, super easy. Um, three sections we've got the front section we've got the back section split into two the reason this is called the twisted wolf cut is because i'm going to be twisting the hair to create um to make the hair over direct basically and i'm going to be using two of my alpha italia combs now watch this because this is this is something i learned from sam via when i was in america and uh ever since then i just thought it was so cool So we're just going to pick up that hair and we're just going to gauge our length. So I'm going to go to the nose and I'm going to put this comb, actually twist it around that way, so they're just opposites. And I've just clamped that hair there. And then what I'll do is I'll twist it and we're going to elevate and we're going to cut along here. Because what that's going to do, it's going to take all that off, yes, but we've elevated, so we're going to be getting shape around the face and we're going to get a short sort of bangs fringe area. So let me just show you that again. You can do it with your fingers as well. You don't have to have two combs. I'll show you how to do it with your fingers. Fingernails pointing towards you, like so. And then you just twist and elevate. That'll probably be easier, won't it? I'll do it this way. But the two comb method just keeps it a little bit more secure if you're a little bit uneasy or you don't want to cut your fingers. Put two combs in and then you do exactly the same. I'll do it this way. 
so you can see you don't have to have two combs to do it. So I'm just gonna be using my Alfa Italia 6.5 Platino scissors. I just wanna get that length. I'm just going just below the nose. So where my fingers are, top of the lip, below the nose. And again, I don't wanna be going in that way because I can't twist my arm that way. I wanna be going my hand in that way, my palm pointing towards the client's head or face, like that. Let's just get where we were, there. So then we're gonna to elevate to here. We're gonna twist and I'm gonna elevate. Elevation creates softness. And again, make sure we're just central over that nose. And I'm just deep point cutting. Through here. Get rid of those long bits. And then what we can grab is our Evo scissors. You don't have to, but then we can just go in and we can just soften off. We can even go in and point cut with them so it's even softer through there. You don't have to, you could use your ordinary straight blades, but the Evos just make it so much easier. But you could just go in deep like that. Make sure to get all those pieces off. Make sure we've got some balance to it, which we have. Now the technic technical side of this, so that hair that's here on the side of the head has been stretched all the way over to here. And this hair here is the hair that lives down here. So then we twist out and we drop and we get that shape, which is the wolf cut shape. Look at how simple that is. Now we could go shorter if we want. I don't want to go shorter just yet because I'm going to style this out. I want it to be a little bit of a longer sort of fringe because normally I do the fringes all up here. I want this to be a bit of like a longer version. But you can see, turn it sideways. See how from there comes all the way down there. So even though we cut a lot of hair off, we've kept a lot of length through there. Now we've got to bring these into it. So we're gonna twist it again. So I'll show you what we're gonna do. And remember this is called the twisted wolf cut. So we do want to twist it. And again, could we use a guide? We could use a guide. We could take a piece from here. So let's just take a section from there. So we've got a guide. And we can see that's in there now, through there. Now we want to be pushing this forward because we want to maintain the length through here. And again, we want our palm to face the client because then we can twist it. And we can see there's the guide. So we've got this back section here Pull it out of the way. We're going to pull it forward as if we were going straight through there. So you can see, I can see my guide. So what I want to do is just twist through there. And I want to pull it to that guide. Because now that hair that's coming up here is living down there. And the hair that's living up here is going to be shorter. So through there. Then we twist. And then I look for the guide, which is there. And then we're just going to soften off. And then when we drop that, it creates that shape again, all through there. And then when we drop this out, 
can see it connects all the way through. If I lift that out of the way, it connects all the way through there. I'm just gonna do it exactly the same on the other side. So again, let's take a little bit of that section there. You'll be able to see this side better because my arm will be out of the way. So guide, just pull that back into it. I'm just detangling, make sure I've just got a nice clean section. Through here. And again, palm towards, and then we're twisting, and then we're finding that guide, elevate, There's my guide. But you're gonna kill me again, aren't you? Because I'm wearing black. What about if I do this on a blonde mannequin? There we go. Again, shorter into longer. Then we brush this down. It just connects all the way through. Give a little shake because it was blow dried smooth. Let's get a little bit of texture in there. What have I got? Got some hairspray, got some texture spray. Got those really nice jaw length bangs. You're keeping all that length. We could take off some of that bottom if we wanted to. But there we go. So you've got all that balance all through there. Maintain the length. We could take off a bit there to take, to put in a bit more of like a stronger baseline if we wanted to. And then we've just got that fringe. Super simple, super easy way of creating a wolf cut, butterfly cut, however you want to sort of describe it. You've got all that sort of floatiness connection in three cuts to put that shape in. And because it's got that texture in those ends, because we use the Evos, but also we, we uh, point cut it quite deeply, we've got that texture in those ends that just use your fingers and thumbs and it, and it keeps it there because it's got that, that scaffolding in there. And again, put a little bit of movement in there. And it just stays. Get a little bit of hairspray. I'll show you the back actually, because everyone always says he doesn't show the back of his haircuts. So you've got all that layer that's in there. And again, this is quick in salon. <clears throat> I would be doing it on wet. I wouldn't be doing it on dry. But I just love these impactful ways of being able to show you how we can manipulate hair in really easy steps to create these looks. Cutting doesn't have to be really complicated. You just got to understand the fundamentals uh, of over directing and, and uh, elevation to create these looks. But you can see all that texture that's in there. Still maintain that length as well. Let's get a body on her. Let's see how it sits. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. I think it's a really cool way of understanding and of putting in this shape. Just literally twisting. That's what it's called, the twisted wolf cut. Let's get some hairspray. And then we go guys, that is the Twisted Wolf Cut, the next big trend for 2023 when it comes to cutting the Wolf Cut, Butterfly Cut, we're literally gonna twist it and it gives you that automatic shape.
So let me know in the comments down below if you found this helpful. Um, like it if you found the value in understanding this technique because it's massive. So my, go my goal for 2022 was to hit 25,000. But we got so close to 100K, I was like, right, let's hit 100K. We didn't. We're on 97 and a half, maybe 98 by the time this goes out. But um, 2,000 to go or just over. So yeah, I can't wait to get that plaque, hit that 100K and be bringing you much, much more content. So yeah, if you've loved it, let me know in the comments down below. Thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Let's hit that 100K before, what, the end of January. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.